virtual mass transfer lab developed by a group of IIT Guwahati faculties and students. The first step is to log on to vlab.co.in. The second step is to click the link IIT Guwahati on the extreme left. The third step is to click the link for virtual lab for mass transfer. The fourth step is to select the experiment. You can see this takes us to the online portal. On the online portal, the first tab is the theory tab. Then we have the procedure, experimental calculation, lab view calculation, pre-experimental quiz, video, downloads, simulator, post-experimental quiz, help and feedback tabs. The theory tab we have a general background of the experiment along with animation of a single tree for a distillation column. The next tab is the procedure tab which gives us a general experimental details along with a flow sheet of the experimental setup. The last portion of it consists of an animation of the experimental setup in which we can see that the vapor is being condensed and collected. The next is the experimental calculation tab. Uh, the initial por portion of it consists of the calibration curve and finally evaluation of uh, the reflux, uh, the intercept of the graph, the overall efficiencies and finally the number of actual stages involved. The next tab is the lab view calculation tab. The f in the first step we have the calibration of the refractive index. In the second step the user will enter his data and get virtual data. In the third step, we get partial reflux data. The fourth step is efficiency and number of equilibrium stage develop equilibrium stage analysis. Finally, the user has to compare his data and evaluate what percentage was he right. The next step is the video tab in which we have a lab view video as well as the experimental video have two links one is to perform the experiment online and the second is to download the exe file and then perform it offline the next is the post experimental quiz similar to pre experimental quiz the user has to make his choices and press the submit button the next is the help file it gives us some simple instructions as to how to operate the simulator Next is the feedback tab. This this tab enables the user to share his or her experience, both good and bad, with the developer. All the user all the user has to do is to answer all the questions and then press the submit button at the end of the page. So finally, we can proceed towards the real world experiment.
next we have the virtual experiment